Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make this effect in Adobe Photoshop. As you may notice, I'm in a new setup over here. So we got our new neon little cat and our new neon sign. It's still a work in progress. So you'll see a bunch more random stuff on the back here from now on. But yeah, let's jump right into it. Starting off with our blank canvas in Photoshop, you can either start from white or black or whichever color you prefer. I'll go with black just because I prefer it that way. And then I'm going to write my text like that, yep. And I'll just make it into a bolder font. Obviously you can do it with whichever font you prefer. I'll just place that in the center and then I'll duplicate the text a bunch of times, rotate it and make it a little bigger, a little smaller. And I'll do that but just by pressing the Alt or Option key to make your copies. Just click and drag and hold the Alt or Option key. It's fine if they overlap, it'll give it that glitchy effect. And then I'll just transform some of them and make them smaller. Turn them upside down, move them and place them wherever I want. I'll go ahead and select all of my text layers, right click, convert to smart object, and we have all of them in one single layer. You can obviously go back and change all of these because we're using smart objects. So all you have to do is just double click on the thumbnail of the layer and it'll take you back to your text layers where you have them all nice and separated one from another. So what I want to do next is just go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to blur them a little bit, but not too much. Uh, they still have to be legible. And then I'm going to go in with the filter, blur gallery, field blur, and I'm just going to add a bunch of points all around my artboard. And then by dragging this wheel, we can add more blur or less. Obviously I want more when we're on the outside and less when it's more towards the inside. So here it's gonna be basically none. And here it's gonna go crazy in some parts. Something like this looks good to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press okay. We have a great starting point now. All you have to do is go to the adjustments tab now you know that I love gradient maps, but um, we are gonna be using a gradient map, but this is a little different than we usually do. So go to the adjustments panel and then select gradient map. You're gonna click on the gradient. Over here under type, we're not gonna go with solid, which is the one we usually do. Uh, we're gonna go with noise. Depending on how glitchy and abrupt you want the color changes to be, you can edit the roughness. For example, if you go with a really low number, you're gonna have a really smooth gradient. But if you go to the opposite side, so a pretty high number of roughness, you're gonna get this crazy glitchy color. So that's obviously what we're gonna do. You obviously can't change color by color on this type of gradient map, but you can definitely edit the colors by using these three sliders and you can change up the color mode if you want. And if you still feel like you're not really liking the colors, you can just start clicking this randomize button which will change randomly the colors of your gradient. And you can get some pretty nice results using this technique. You could also just randomize it and if you kind of like it, you can just then edit the colors. This looks really nice to me, so I'll just press OK. And look at the detail and the colors you got going on over here, which was the blurriest part of our image. And it looks really nice. Now that you have your colors sorted out and your gradient map and your text, you can obviously add more blurs to your text, or you can also duplicate and try changing like blending mode and adding more blurs and more effects to it. Just see where you end up. 
I feel this is a pretty cool starting point to create those really nice glitchy effect. You could also go in and play around with the color channel settings like this. to get an even crazier effect. And uh, that's basically it. You can apply this not only to text, but to any other image. You can end up with some really awesome backgrounds. If you wanna check out my Instagram account, I'll leave it linked in the description down below. I've been posting daily designs for almost three years now, so I definitely appreciate it if you go show some love over there. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.